So, listen to this. That's good to hear about what your body does for you, right? In times of extreme pain. I thought that would make you feel better. My next guest's life was literally turned upside down by a freak accident, and it was all caught on tape. This is something. College student Danielle Dauenhauer was standing on her bed hanging posters in her dorm room when suddenly she lost her footing and tumbled backwards through an open window. Her body was plummeting towards the pavement 20 feet below. I knew I fell out of the window, and I knew I wasn't on the ground. As this shocking video shows, Danielle's body was skewered on the way down by two steel security bars that pierced through the flesh of her buttocks. Four university football players answered Danielle's screams for help. She was in excruciating pain, so really what we just figured out was that, you know, the longer we could keep her up and keep her from sliding down even deeper until the rescue crews, crews arrived, the better chances of surviving. Danielle never lost consciousness during the 20 minutes she was hanging upside down, even though the pain was just about unbearable. Rescue crews had to cut through the bars to free Danielle and then rushed her to the hospital. She had no serious injuries and the bars were removed from Danielle's backside without surgery. Only 26 stitches were needed to close the two wounds. This is Danielle Dauenhauer. <laughs> we're all cringing just watching that she survived that 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 was unbelievable but you were in a lot of pain right it really caught me off guard but it was more when somebody told me you know you got something stuck in you that's when it really started hurting a lot more <laughs> really well yeah because if, if you don't know and you're just kind of there's pain all over your body right i hit my head my, my legs were all scratched on the wall. I'm, I'm stuck to a big piece of wrought iron. And, and so there's kind of pain all over, and you don't really even know where the specifics are coming from until somebody points out to you, oh, yeah, you're stuck. Yeah, and then you say, it's my butt. And it, <laughs> it's in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. And so those guys just literally held you up. Yeah. That is amazing. Well, see, now you can say, I think I'm doing a pull-up right there. I think I'm holding myself up, but yeah. no. No, you're not. Not that strong. Not no, really. no. And so, th this is what's surprising to me. Why didn't she black out? Because when you get so much pain, doesn't your body go into sort of a shock thing? She was, she was under control. She knew the situation was under control. Uh, she had people around her who were helping her, and that helped her to remain calm. And that's a very important part of, of not blacking out and being able to control yourself. Oh, really? So you go into shock when? Well, you go into shock when you have blood loss. Okay. Uh, and she wasn't losing blood. It was redistributed. It was in the wrong place, but she still had enough within yeah. her system to keep her going. Yeah. Can you believe that yourself? That is a, now, now that's a freak accident. It is. Well, we're glad you're here. I have and everything's okay. <laughs> lately in the news about deadly avalanches out 